Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Askeway Health. Today we're going to be talking about hormone balance or balancing your hormones after coming off the depot shot. And this is based on a question that I received from one of my viewers, which I'm going to read in a minute. But guys, please take a second to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel because here we share health information videos that will help you feel and be better so this is a question i received a couple of days ago hello doctor i was using depo for the last one year it expired in october last year but i was bleeding for those three months when the bleeding didn't stop i was recommended to have the 21 day pill to balance the hormone and then the bleeding stopped my period started on december 18th and ended 22nd then it came on 18th of january does that mean my hormones are now balanced because I really need another baby. So guys, that's the question. Thank you very much to my viewer for sending this question in. So the question is around balancing your hormones after you've stopped taking the depot shot and had some bleeding in between. The bleeding's now stopped and your periods have started. So she wants to know whether her hormones are balanced or not. So we don't know how long she had the depot. Oh, we do. She said she had a depot for the last year, which is fine. Doesn't really matter to be fair. Um, but she stopped it in October. So that means as of January, she's been off the depot for November, December, three months now. So she's one of those quick ones to get her period back, isn't she? She did have some bleeding. She had some heavy bleeding and she had to take the 21 day pill. So likely that will be the combined pill to balance the hormones. That will be just to help to calm the bleeding down. And that is introducing external hormones. But by the time she stopped the 21 day pill, that gives the opportunity for her own hormones to start working again. So it looks like the effect of the depot is gradually wearing out of her system. And she's had this 21 day pill to give her own hormones a chance to to have a bit of a rest and then now they're coming back to normal because the first clue that her own natural hormones are coming back to normal is the fact that she had a period she had a period on the 18th of december it ended after four days and then a month later she had another period on the 18th of january so we don't know much about how long the period in january lasted assuming that it lasted four or five days that also is indicative of a natural period what does that tell us it tells us that she is ovulating okay remember that one of the side effects of the depot that many women that's the depot shot that many women are familiar and concerned about is that the fact that it can potentially delay your return to fertility and we say that sometimes that can be as long as six months in some women even more than 18 months but in a lot of women like this lady it doesn't delay it for too long because she started ovulating which is demonstrated by the fact that she's having regular periods i would recommend that she doesn't do anything else so that means not take any hormones don't do anything but allow your body's natural cycle to just recover don't do anything extra don't take any um, more hormones to try and boost the the natural hormones no don't do anything like that because the way things are going suggest to me that her ovaries have woken up if you like and they've started she started ovulating i think it's a good idea for her not to try you know don't try seriously to get pregnant or don't put your don't set your mind to it is what i mean you can try of course you can try and have fun trying <laughs> you can try okay don't focus too much on it by which i mean don't keep thinking i've got to have sex i've got to have sex um this many times to get pregnant just feel free do what you do you do what comes naturally okay and allow yourself at least three cycles three natural cycles so she's had um, a cycle in december she's had one in january and if she goes on to have one in february that's sort of reassuring that her hormone pattern her natural pattern has returned and her hormones are balanced so she doesn't need to do anything extra but what i will add for somebody who is um trying to have a baby she's come off the depot short there is no evidence at all that the depot shot causes permanent um, fertility. It doesn't cause sterilization, nothing like that. So the effect of the depot will wear out of your system. It's just that it can take some time in some women. 
but in this case i think it's hardly taking much time she started having her periods three months after stopping the depot but the tips i would say to her in addition to just allowing nature to take its course are first make sure you're having a balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits protein um, vegetables and whole grains because these all these types of foods help to provide the nutrients that your body needs to regulate your hormones okay the next thing is make sure that you're active and you're doing regular exercise of whatever it might be as simple as regular walks or if you're into swimming or if you're into any other type of exercise you know just make sure you're having it regularly because that could also help to regulate your hormones and the other thing is that it helps to reduce stress which can impact your hormones okay the third point is get enough sleep we often overlook this because we're so busy either we're busy online or we're busy you know face to face or we're busy dashing about doing things you need sleep your sleep is essential to help to regulate and develop your hormones and your overall health as well and next stress and i've just mentioned stress yes but let's focus on stress in particular because if you're under stress that can mess up your hormone balance so it's really important to identify if you are under stress and then find ways to help to reduce it like meditation or yoga breathing exercises taking up journaling coloring you know whatever it is that calms you down please engage in that because you need you, you shouldn't be worrying and, and not worrying about whether your hormones are balanced whether your periods are normal whether you're ovulating because that in itself causes more stress okay and speak to your healthcare provider is there anything else that you need some people some ladies suffer from low vitamin d some ladies might have low iron um, so they might have different low supplements or vitamins that need to be replaced they might need to have some blood tests so talk to your provider and make sure that your your levels are fine if you need to have any replacement supplements they can give you prescriptions that can help with that um, so yeah those are some of the things i'd recommend doing in this type of scenario and the most important thing is um, now that you have started having regular periods i think ovulation has resumed it looks like your hormone your natural hormone balance has is coming back to itself and you can do all these things i've mentioned in addition to make sure that you're in the best state of health for when that baby comes so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful let me know in the comment section below and if you've got similar questions or comments about this topic do let me know don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel you know the drill guys share with a friend who might find it useful and if you're interested in other questions around the depot shot check out this playlist here where i discuss a lot of issues around the depot progesterone injection thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon bye guys